So I just said goodbye to my kids. They're here with a babysitter and this mama is getting out of the house because I need a break. So if you watched my last vlog, which I'll put up right here, you'll know that my family has been very sick for the last couple weeks. So they got sick the week before Christmas, which means they were out of school for a week and then they were out of school now for the last two weeks because of Christmas and New Year's holiday. So you can understand that I have been cooped up in my house with these sick little kids and I was sick too. So today I kind of reached my breaking point where I was like, I've got to get out of this house or this mama's gonna go crazy. So in all of my excitement to get out the door, I walked out without having a coat. And I am going to an outdoor mall and it's only 30 degrees outside. <laughs> bought a few things for my husband for Christmas that I didn't end up giving him, so I'm going to quickly return those, and then we're gonna head down to Costco. Can I just tell you how much more fun it is to go shopping without all of my kids? I was in and out of the mall after going to several different stores and looking around, in like 15 minutes. And I am so happy that I didn't have to get out the stroller. I didn't have to hear anybody whining or complaining that they didn't want to be there. And it just made me so happy. But I do have to say, next time I will not forget my coat. I can barely feel my fingers. So I just quickly stopped in over at Trader Joe's and I bought me some flowers. Cause I never usually have flowers in my house unless my husband buys them for me. But today I just felt like, I needed the extra happiness. So tomorrow is my mother-in-law's birthday, so I'm gonna head over to another store all by myself and go pick out a present for her. So I'm here at Costco doing some shopping and is it weird to say that I'm actually kind of missing my kids? I think it's just the fact that I've been with them for so long and now that I'm coming to places where they're usually with me and when I walk past the pizza, you know that's where they would usually say, hey, can I get some pizza? Or hey, can we get this? Or, and now they're not here and it's kind of making me miss them. Also, it's really kind of funny to watch people's reaction when they see me walking and talking to the camera. So I just finished up at Costco and I'm gonna quickly run to the grocery store and then we'll head home and get ready for dinner. When the avocados are on sale for 33 cents each, you have to buy as many as you can, especially when my kids could eat them for snacks and for breakfast and for every meal. I'm gonna buy at least 12. So I just got back, sent the babysitter on her way, and all is well here at home. And the best part is that I came home in such a better mood. Yesterday was, it was a horrible day. I had this dark cloud that felt like it was looming over me all day. And I was not the best mom yesterday. I just, it's kind of embarrassing to say, but I was yelling at my kids. I let my house go. I was just so hard on myself. And today I woke up and I thought, no more. I can't do this anymore. So that's why I took those couple of hours and I am in such a good mood now that I did that. I could go and I came back and I could regroup and I'm in a better mood so that now I can be happier for my kids. So now that I'm back, let's go ahead and get some dinner started for the family. Last week I bought all this stuff to make homemade chicken noodle soup, but I didn't end up making it. So tonight, let's make some homemade soup. One thing I love about the homemade chicken noodle soup is usually I have all of the ingredients on hand and it doesn't take that long to make, but it's, it's chock full of vegetables and flavor and my family loves it. see if I could make some homemade artisan bread to make to go with our soup but I should have started that eight hours ago so instead I'm gonna see if I can quickly throw together some homemade just regular white sandwich bread
Now that we have the bread cooking in the oven, let's go ahead and start our soup. So while dinner's cooking, I just wanted to ask you, when you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed or you feel like you have that dark cloud over you like I felt yesterday, what are some things that you do for yourself that help you get out of that funk? Like when you're stressed or tired or you know you just feel like you can't get a break, what, what are you doing in your life to get that break? Does that make sense? I, I Let me know in the comments below what you do so I can learn from you too because for me, I, I'm really quick to get stressed and overwhelmed and then I just either shut down and I don't wanna communicate and I don't wanna be with anyone or I feel like I just need to leave the house to clear my head. So I don't know which one's better or worse, but I'm just curious, what do you guys do when you're feeling overwhelmed? I just took the bread out of the oven and I'm gonna add the egg noodles to the soup, let those cook for about 15 minutes, and then we'll be ready to eat. <laughs> When you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed, take five minutes or five hours, whatever it is that you need to do where you can step away from the situation and clear your head. If you want this recipe for the chicken noodle soup, make sure you check out the description below. Thanks for hanging out with me and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, Bash. And then we turn around and we go two more days back home.